own for every day, rent for recreation. See, a lot of times people get so entrusted and so much in trouble with their money because they're buying things that they only use temporarily. So a good example is when you start thinking about things that have motorism. That's the easy one to jump to. So when you talk about boats, when you talk about RVs, when you talk about motorcycles, those type of things. And I'll even use myself as an example. I went a go-kart recently and I'm going down the rabbit hole of trying to buy this go-kart. And my wife was like, well, I'll just get you a membership pass to one of those go-kart places or I'll just take you to a few one of those. And the thing that I was thinking about was, hey, I'll drive this thing. But the fact is, I won't. And people who have our RVs that actually own homes, they may use their RVs, but they're not using it to the utility where you actually get the return on value. Now, if you're one of those people who moved into an RV to do a lifestyle change, to really save some money and you're going across country and that's how you live, you probably should own a decent RV and still make a good purchase. Motorcycle. Motorcycles is not an everyday vehicle. It's a recreation type vehicle. And so you should think about these things as, hey, I can own for everyday use. I need a car to get around every day. I need a place to stay. But the things that I'm using for recreation, motorcycle, RVs, sometimes you're buying shoes just for one event, buying an outfit for one event. Now, if you're a guy, a tuxedo, that's something that'll help you and sustain a long time and you'll get your return investment. But I'm saying really think about what are the things you're actually buying that really you should be renting. You, you should be just paying for the moment. It's okay to do that, but we're talking about ways you can still experience things and still have progress around going forward, or progress going forward to your financial goal. The point of all this is that you don't want to get bagged up with owning so much stuff before you even start to own assets. And buying a lot of stuff that you own that you don't even utilize in full capacity all the time will stop you from reaching true financial progress. Own for every day, but rent for recreation.